It, you know, in a lot of ways, uh, Todd, it's a miracle. It is it's a miracle. A miracle from God that we have the fullness of the gospel yeah. on the earth again. You know, education is a great thing, and a lot of people back here, are, Harvard's here, and a lot of MIT is here, and a lot of and education is a very, very strong principle in our church, and we advocate it and encourage it. But in the process of all of the, of the temporal education, one must never neglect the spiritual education. So we've known each other a long time, and uh, we're in the Quorum of the Twelve together. And uh, we feel as uh, we should, as deeply brothers in the gospel of Jesus Christ, as possible, apostles of the Lord Jesus Christ, charged and commissioned to carry the name of Jesus Christ and his church to the world. Our nation was founded on prayer. It was preserved by prayer and we need prayer again. I plead with you this evening to pray for this country, for our leaders, for our people, and for the families that live in this great nation founded by God. Remember this country was established and preserved by our founding fathers and mothers who repeatedly acknowledged the hand of God through prayer. This area was the seedbed of so very much that led to the founding of this nation. Tonight, I invite you to join in a new movement. I invite neighbors, your neighbors, your colleagues, your friends, on social media to pray for this country. We must stand boldly for righteousness and truth and must defend the cause of honor, decency, and personal freedom espoused by Washington, Madison, Adams, Lincoln, and other leaders who acknowledged and loved God. And the country, this country, the United States of America, was founded in large measure by people who were seeking that religious freedom that they weren't finding in their native countries. This is really a special treat to be able to be out on an assignment together. It's pretty rare even now. Usually it's one at a time, one here, one there, but to be companions on an assignment like this in such a special place mm -hmm. that has so much meaning to you personally, yeah. but to the church as yeah. a whole. I can't describe in words how, how wonderful it's been for me and for my wife. It, it's just like, how often do you think you're gonna get to meet somebody so high up in the church and, you know, have, have such a one-on-one -on -one kind of interaction with them. Um, and it being my one-year baptismal anniversary um, today just adds to it. Um, it makes it this amazing coincidence. Um, it makes it feel very much like it was part of God's plan for it to line up like this. I think he's really reachable, really relatable. Um, just the way that he presents himself, the way that he um, spoke to us. Um, it really um, felt like he was seeking to, to connect to us. He wanted to know our, our needs and he wanted us to um, kind of engage with him in a way that we would be able to learn and to improve our lives, improve our, our spirituality.